What you guys got another video here for you on how to make any RAM RGB. Now we've got four sticks of RAM here. This is a DDR3 RAM, uh, just green generic type looking RAM here. Doesn't look very pleasing to the eye. And I wanted to add a bit of spice to it by putting some RGB on here. So I see a little uh, post on Amazon for up here RGB RAM kit. Now these are RGB RAM sleeves that will slot over the RAM stick itself. The kit comes with everything you need like thermal pads, screws and the uh, heat shields as well to put over the top. So we're going to take a look at them here. Now these ones are called up here and uh, they're pretty cheap and affordable on Amazon or eBay or anywhere you want to buy them. And there's different ones out here. I just chose these ones, uh, but there's many different varieties out there you can get. And it comes in a full kit here, as you can see. And my goal here is to make these RAM sticks look a little bit more pleasing to the eye. Now you do have a little pamphlet here which is telling you how to install the kit. It's pretty straightforward. You get a couple of pads here. Now these are non-thermal pads but you do get some thermal pads in here as well. That's in case you wanted to use the non-thermal ones on here you can do. And also you've got yourself the actual RAM slot itself which comes in two and it seems to be uh, tangled up here. I'll just untangle these in a second. But you can see them here, they have two screws on them and you just need to unscrew these. Let me just untangle this here. I'll take a closer look. There we go. So what we're gonna do here, you've got a couple of uh, plugs on the end here. One is your uh, free pin here and you can, I would advise you to put these onto some sort of fan header or something like that at the back of the case because it's gonna look really messy otherwise. You've got your RGB uh, part at the top here and you've also got your uh, spreader there that will go over the RAM itself. So as you can see, pretty nice looking, uh, makes it look better than these uh, plain Jane uh, green generic RAM sticks here, which do look a bit horrible. So let's go ahead and put some uh, thermal pads on here and try to see what they look like. So here are the thermal pads. Now I'm gonna put thermal pads on here to hopefully dissipate any heat and that may also help uh, performance uh, with these older sticks of memory as well. So these are a bit sticky, so I'm just gonna stick these onto the actual RAM themselves. Now you can spend a lot more time than I'm doing here. I'm just gonna be using this as some sort of test to see what it looks like. Now will this replace RGB itself? No, it won't. Uh, these are not, um, in any way, shape or form, uh, a replacement for proper RGB RAM because obviously these, you have no control over the color system. They will just basically uh, cycle through a bunch of colors, which gives it a nice effect. Now, if you're using old memory like this, which is DDR3 memory, then obviously this could add a bit of bling to any type of bland memory like the old uh, green memory here. So all I need to do here now, I've got my pads on here and just remove these two screws and then take the plate off. Now all this is, is just a little LED strip underneath a piece of uh, plastic here, which is gonna generate some sort of colors coming through uh, the top of the plastic, which in, it, in itself isn't fantastic. But to be honest, when you're looking at an old system like this, uh, then it could add a nice bit of color to that uh, RAM, whereas without it, it would look very plain and boring. So now I've got the plate off here. Now they do different colors for these as well. I've chosen black, but they do silver and a bunch of other colors as well. And you can see this is where the plastic is here. Underneath there, there is a little LED strip, okay? Now the downfall side of this is you do have a cable at the back and this can be very messy. So make sure you get the RAM seated around the right way here because we want to make sure the cable is facing up the top so we can route the cable out the back of the uh, case itself so you can't see so much of the cable okay if that makes sense so what i'm going to do here is just uh, put these on and then put the little shield on here and screw it back down now would i use this on modern day memory like ddr4 now you could use this on ddr4 memory even memory that's got those heat spreaders on them um, like hyper x or something like that that come in red white um, something like you're seeing on the screen now Yes, you could remove those heat spreaders and they would look exactly like the RAM that you're seeing on the 
uh, screen right now which is the green stuff here underneath there it may be black or green and underneath there they would just have normal memory it, all it is is a heat spreader that sits on top uh, with some sort of pad like you're seeing here so all you're doing really is replacing this uh, heat spreader with this sort of pad here now the only thing I didn't like about it was you had no control over the RGB. Now there is some kits out there that do have a remote control which allow you to change colours. Um, but then you could just go and buy LED RAM if you want to do that. But this just cycles through like a rainbow effect through a bunch of colours. And this is what it looks like once you've got the kit all finished. Now I've gone ahead and done uh, the rest of these. And uh, once I've finished them I tidied them up a little bit and uh, they look okay now just make sure that the uh, the actual cable there is going to be up the top so when you're inserting a memory uh, you can uh, push the cable through the back of the top of the uh, motherboard there so you can get it out the back where the cables are and all in all I think they look pretty good once they're completed I'm just going to quickly show you all four of these completed and there they are and I think they look pretty good for the money now these are only around about 10 pounds uh i think per kit and uh, they look pretty good i think what you can do here is spruce up some uh, plain green memory and uh, that cable on the back does look a bit nasty but if we can try to hide that as much as possible which i'll show you in the build video you'll see how i dealt with that and uh, pushed it around the back now this is what it looks like here i just got quickly got my phone because it took uh, the picture quality a bit better than my camera and you can see here it just rotates through a bunch of colors like a rainbow now if you're on a tight budget and you don't have much money or you've got an old system like a DDR3 system and you want to add a bit of uh, RGB bling to your computer then these little kits uh, can uh, add a bit of color to your system and also uh, you know sort of bring it up to the modern era uh, it'll have the same performance it's not going to add any speed or performance to your computer but it will add a little bit of uh, color and bling to your computer and a couple of uh, RGB fans or LED fans will make it look a bit nicer also anyway that's about it for this video my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk I hope this one's been helpful to you and you enjoyed it check out the uh, build video coming up real soon for this old uh, DDR3 system I shall see you again for another video real soon thanks again for watching Bye for now. Now if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.